Breakdance Project Uganda is a non-profit organization that uses breaking, rapping, beatboxing, graffiti, and other alternative ways of learning to promote positive social change and social responsibility. Um, and in the organization, everyone is a student and everyone's a teacher, because we want people to really be a part of the solution to their own problems, as opposed to just, you know, uh, begging all the time or just receiving. And this, in our organization's pro um, Breakdance Project Uganda provides free services both to the rich and the poor because our goal is to bridge the gaps between people that come from different social, economical and educational backgrounds and even religious. So that's why um, we, we focus so much on really creating a platform where people can come, learn together and exchange. Music is a hobby. Right now it's me. It's who I am. You know, if I don't do it, I feel bad actually. I wake up from the bed and I want to do it. I'm called Bruce Jean. I'm 23 years right now. Yeah, I'm in a hospital actually. I work with a hospital. I work in a hospital internship. Yeah, and I do music because I... Actually, it's a talent that I have. Something that I don't force myself to do. Something that I do out of passion and people get to like it. For me personally, it's, um, it's almost impossible to imagine hip-hop without breaking. Actually, not almost. It is impossible for me to imagine hip-hop without breaking. Because when I was introduced to hip-hop as a kid, I saw people rapping, DJ scratching, and then you see b-boys and b-girls getting down. And for me, it's, it's important to really um, respect the, 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 all these art forms and to know that hip-hop is not just rap. I have positive music, then I have love songs. Yeah, love songs, I love love songs. <laughs> okay, I have love songs and I have uh, positive music, basically, you know? And then I have uh, this girl power thing, you know? Just be yourself. Put it out there, let them listen, let them see what you have. I love to do our, my traditional dance, it's great. Um, but most of these dances were created like hundreds of years ago. So, and, and that's what, the, you know, people say it's cultural. But for me, I think culture is the way I live and what I go through. You know, sometimes I do these dances where, you know, going to hunt with a spear. My great great grandfathers did that because it was their way of expressing expression. That's what they went through. Sometimes I spend my time on a computer typing, and and and, and but my, my traditional dance doesn't give me the opportunity to type while I dance. So so I love hip hop and break dancing because it's like a template. We all learn the foundation, but then it empowers people so much because it gives them the opportunity to embrace this art form or this culture that has been existing for decades, but also contribute to it, make it your own, add your little flavors to it. First of all, I don't want to do music and I keep it under my bed. Either I sell it or I don't sell it, it has to go out. Yeah, so, and we, we have always tried to do that, that yes, we want money, but still it's not good to do a song and people don't get to know it, you, you know? Because at, at the end of the day, when I compose, it's either my experience or a friend's experience, which I would like to share with the world. I hear, you know, women, women are expected when you get to my age, you have to get married, stay at home. You know, guys should go to uh, clubs and what. Music is for the guys. You know, they're the ones who can stand up and sing. So when you stand up there and sing, stand for yourself, for what you believe in, what you can do for yourself, you know, they underlook you. We used to live in the same house, tiny room together with our two siblings, very tiny room in a slum. But then, we, so we were hanging together all the time, which at some point wasn't also very healthy. You know, we go out to school together, we go to the shows together. When we dropped out of school, we all dropped out of school together because there was no money to pay for school. So we were hanging everywhere together. So if we had like challenges as artists, like, oh, you didn't do this, you were meant to do this, you didn't show up on time. So sometimes you carried it back home because you're staying. So we also had, a, some, at some point we had a hard time drawing lines between what is Sylvester and Abrams as artists and what is Sylvester and Abrams as brothers. The music that Sylvester and I do is really about educating people, empowering people, building their self-esteem, yeah, but also making them happy, you know? Because for me that, 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 is, um, that is really important. Hip-hop is more like uh, who you are, you know? Not, not just music and hip-hop, what? It's who you are, a lifestyle, you know? For me, hip hop is a, is a way of life. Um, if it's not relevant to the life that I live, if it's not relevant to the issues that affect the communities, the, the people, then for me it's just like for fun, you know? 
Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I also love to do fun music. Once in a while, I want to do a, a song where it makes me feel good. But even that fun, a song that I write has to be really meaningful to me. Whatever you do, there should always be a song about, you know, uplift, up, uplifting and empowering, you know, someone. At the same time, people don't have to be sad all the time, you know. You know, they have to party, you know, you know enjoy your life. So, yeah. So it's a mixture of, it's a mixture of all that put together. Yeah. I see a lot of problems here, you know. Um, you know, p things like low self-esteem, lack of education, diseases, like poor hygiene, and all these things. But, but, but also not talking about just the negativity, but also the positive things that happen here. So I chose to use um, hip-hop to really show the people like you know this is why this is the reality in, w in which we're standing but also what do i talk about building a self-esteem is also to use that music to show people the the positive things that they have for them to really appreciate who they are and that's what my brother and i have been doing for over the years to really uplift people living in the slums and ghettos because that's where we also were also raised that's where we grew up but you know telling them that you know you can still have a choice you can still be successful even if even if you uh, your school dropout you can still have a life like put a few things together and discover yourself and still you know keep your head up high just like you said it some you just wake up and say i don't care no this is what i believe in you know if i don't do it nobody will do it for me i just have to do it because if i don't do it uh, it will die you know i just have to do it and grow it you know some females there are some kids out there, some females, who will look up to me and like, she made it and I will make it. You just keep on going. Because as human beings, we're some, like somehow it, it kind of looks like we're trained to see how different we are, but we're not really trained to see how similar we are. So, and I thought bringing a neutral art form that doesn't really belong to any tribe or religion or any kind of social background, this would be the best tool, the magnet, to attract people, bring them together, learn from each other, help each other grow, but most important of all, be share a platform and also learn to focus on the similarities that we have and see how we develop that, uh, but as well as uh, appreciating and celebrating diversity. You know, I'm in the right place, it's the right type of project for me, because I love to educate people and I love to entertain, and I love to be educated and entertained, because that's how I learn as well.